<laughs> Thank That's you so hilarious. Much. <laughs> All right, yeah, we're trying to uh, see how how's our picture out there in Never Never Land. Let me uh, let me make sure we're not cutting you off. Somebody needs there to give us some. We're sitting outside the rig here, uh, trying to stay out of the wind. It's a little breezy. It's not real bad. Yeah. Not like what we had the other day. <laughs> but you have those bad days. You got to deal with them. But uh, where the heck is my YouTube at on this thing? I, I don't know how you can see the screen. The sun's so bright. I can, I can see the screen good. It's just uh, I had my computer fixed the other day, so they didn't put. He's having to locate everything. Uh, it's you know with that new rat. What's that thing I had put in? Hard drive. Hard drive. It changed the whole screen around. I ain't used to where everything is right this minute. Uh, hang on a minute. Y'all bear with me here. I pulled up the why, wrong thing. Why don't you just type in YouTube? Well, I thought I put it in favorites. I YouTube. thought you already had this done. I do. Right there's YouTube. Okay, good. Yay. Okay. I'm technically, uh, you know. Challenged. Challenged. Uh, <laughs> Well, I down a bunch of stuff I wanted to put in here, so. There, how's that? That's better. I'm closer to you. Yeah. See, hey. the sun's kind of, we're setting kind of pointing to the south, yeah. southwest. Uh, the sun's setting Come in on. the west right over here. Okay. I was explaining to people. Get me wow. Here. Wow. A oh. whole bunch of one time here. Uh, I'm not even sure. I mean, I have to log in to get us, don't I? Hello. Yes, you do. Hello, Sharon. Hey, mostly off grid. Remember? Hey, Denise. Hey, Paula, how you doing? Code four. How you doing? Carla and Ken. <laughs> Cindy, hello, hello. <laughs> Brian and Donna, hi. Donnie Charles and Kevin. Happy Friday, children. Happy Friday to you too, sir. So, Denise, Sharon, I saw you standing on that open. What? I'm trying to get it pulled up here. Hang on. Oh, here we go. So have you lost weight? Yes, ma'am, I have. Uh, looks and sounds picture. good. Woohoo! Have you lost weight? You look awesome. So tonight we want to talk about a new feature for our channel. Um. I don't want premium. I'm trying to get us up, pull us up here. Oh, there we go. So if I move, how do I move this? How do I do that? Move this here? What are you doing? I was trying here, to get look. it to where it'd be bigger letters. Oh, here. Uh, but I don't know where to go to do that. Uh, don't I go? Oh, yeah, right there. I can't you see. can do the pop out. Okay. Well, I got bigger. Oh, there we go. Yeah. That way I can kind of lean back. And he's got a touch screen, y'all. <laughs> I'm so fancy. <laughs> we got a few things to talk about. Uh, we've been really busy since we got back down here to uh, you need to, to Yuma. Oh, it won't uh, move over? Gotta move Look over. at there. There you go. See? Using the finger. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> means happy. <laughs> uh, how do you, what do you know? Use your move. finger. I guess it'll move on its own. Oh, use, okay. Use your finger. Just use the, your finger. The screen's so clean after they cleaned it at the computer <laughs> place. Yeah, we've been just getting a lot of stuff done. We had to go to uh, Alligadonis a couple times. I got some dental work done. I had two crowns put in, you know, back and forth trips. I mean, had, we had full days. We've been so busy trying to get caught up because the first time we came down to Yuma, I was, we, I was doing the solar. Then I got sick. Then, then we had school in Palooza and we had to leave. So it's just been constantly perpetual motion. We've yes. been so busy. And we figured out we got uh, hooked up on how to get Starlink. So we're using that right now. Yay, it it's awesome. Y'all see it out there? We've see? had right there. one great experience after another. The great experience we had at school in Palooza was like no other. Yeah. Well, that's true. <laughs> you got to leave. <laughs> that's true. That was, that was different. So we're getting caught up, kind of caught up with everything, and there's always more things going to happen with us. That's for sure. You can count on it. <laughs> yeah. But um, it's just the way we roll. But uh, yeah, we've just been trying to, you know, uh, 
uh, spend time with everybody and just kind of calm down and, and let ourselves yeah. relax a little bit. But it's been uh, it's been it's been good. Uh, the Starlink has just been wonderful. We shut off our boxes, our T-Mobile. We shut off Verizon. Shut down the directional. The, uh, the sun is getting the nice. Omni. We got both of those. But Starlink to me has just oh. kicked all of them right in the head. Yes. Once they get this thing up and totally running, where you can get a signal anywhere you go. I would say it's going to be the best thing since sliced bread. Folks. Exactly. I, I'm just impressed with it well, all the way around. We've only had uh, a couple times where we've maybe, since we've been using it for the last uh, week. Right. Four day, well, about four days we've been using yeah. it. Yeah. The uh, upload speeds are fantastic. And the I picture, mean, the quality of the pictures for it's us great. have been great. But, the well, the download speeds, I mean, have been fantastic. But the upload... It's faster than what we had before. I'm just telling you that. Yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it only took about yeah. 20 minutes to upload a 10-minute video. So we're we're across the river. We're across the color. We're in Felicity, California. Yuma is about 12, 13 miles away. So our IP address, our global address to run our uh, Starlink is in Yuma. Yes. Yeah. It's only about 10 miles away, though. It's probably as the crow flies is 10 miles yes. away. I would say. Yes. But still, 10 miles, and we're getting. This kind of great service out here in the desert, it's unbelievable. I ain't got, I got a stupid tower. I hope that wind's not too stupid much. Stupid tower right there, less than a mile, from, about a mile, mile and a half from me. Got one three miles down the road here, and still at 7 o'clock, we'd lose our T-Mobile. Yep. And we'd lose our Verizon. Exactly. Or have intermittent problems with yeah. either or. Depends on who's using Verizon, who's using T-Mobile. Right. Towers, right by, and we're not a mile and a half off the interstate. Of course, you can't hear it from where we're at over here. But uh, it's, 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 this Starlink is just, uh, it's, it's going to revolutionize the way. And people can put this in their homes. Then you, you, it comes with a carrying box. It comes in a box. You restow everything. Then you can yep. put it in the trunk of your car and take it with you. I mean, I mean how wonderful uh, is that? I mean, it's, exactly. it's, it's such a piece of diversified equipment. Now, we don't have it mounted on top of the ceiling. Ours is right out here. You've seen our introductory picture. Yeah. That's our dish over there. Right. And the, and the router the power supply is sitting right there in that window just plugged in yes it's, it's drawing about about 90 95 watts right uh yes. we just i just leave it on i get up in the mornings i got internet i go to bed <laughs> i got internet Yay! i go to sleep i got internet it don't matter I take a shower i got internet i ain't got to worry about plugging that box in or dialing up on the phone it's just you get right. up and you, you get up and you have it it's, it's just amazing um, i open my computer boom got yep. internet mobile tech yes that's all we're using is the Starlink yeah. to do our live. It's fantastic. No buffing. No, no. In fact, we were watching a movie the other night on yeah. Paramount. Was it yeah. Paramount? Paramount, yeah. And it kept it would go black every once in a while. I was like, what in the world? It was because it was a commercial. <laughs> yeah, we didn't see the commercial. But she was like, what's wrong with this thing? So there's nothing wrong with this. Where they had a commercial in there. It's on the, it's on the TV studio. Yeah. But he's asking me, Mark here from, uh, he says he just got on. What's our average speed spin? Um, well. There's a whole gamut of stuff. Yeah. It ranges from like, uh, I want to say for downloads. I mean, it's like a 150 to 200. I mean, it's just quick. And uploads is between 20 and 25, I want to say. So it's not bad at all. Starlink uh, Mobile Tech's asking if we can live stream. That's what we're doing. Yes, right now. that's what we're doing right now. Yeah, it provides you this, the providers you're already paying for. Exactly. You know, I'm already paying. Uh, it's for, no different than using what you already have. Yeah, this, th those are all shut off. We're just going right through her phone. Yeah. Right into Starlink. Starlink exactly. is your internet. It's your platform. You just go right to it. it it's a, it's amazing. Yes, twenty is fine for streaming. Yeah. Yeah, so, ten is fine, but this is. I mean, now, we're not going to have any buffing. Now, if we were further away, we may have buffing. But since the address is so close, we won't have a problem. We haven't yet. You, you've got to start watching some videos to understand how it works. And I, I'm not good enough at it to explain to you how it all works. I know, know they have the ground stations. They got they got one down here near uh, in Yuma. And they got, they got uh, like, they don't even have one in New Mexico. They got six in Texas. These ground stations are what they're doing. They're using those, I guess, to to 
sense the area for a distance of how much area they're going to cover. Until they can do the beams. Can they do the laser beams, which are coming later this summer. Yeah. It'll be coming directly from the satellite it, down. It costs $99 a month, but the equipment itself, you have to buy the equipment, and that's uh, 600 bucks. Yeah, $600. $600, yeah. So, so it's, it's well worth it. So you get the dish and the dish when you key it in it's just like a satellite dish it's so easy it just pops up i mean the program is just, it's so simple it'll stun you yeah <laughs> it make you look dumb once you figure out how to use it <laughs> you think, it's wow was, you know this is i tell you this this guy's on the ball man i have to say he's he's made a world of difference you know yes he's he's a he's a shaker a mover i'm telling you oh sorry 20 is fine okay. for streaming mobile tech 10 is fine too yes how much was it so y'all got that uh but we, you, what you have to do is you, we were coming to Yuma, we were coming back down here, so we had to put in, find an address. Right. Using Google Maps. And you should do that before you move. And it, it has a format <laughs> that tells you how to put that address in. Once you find one, it, it says it's acceptable. You ain't got to be here to get it. You just got to find it. Then you plug it in, then you'll take that slot. They only have so many slots in so many areas. In Quartzsite, we didn't have a slot. Okay. Yeah. They were all taken. Right. Until they opened the thing all the way up. As they put more satellites up, they're preparing to open more areas of the country up. Ooh. What was that? I don't know. Something blew off. I don't know what it was. It's all good. We're good. Okay. We're good. Nothing blew off from here. No, I thought I seen something blow off. Huh. Oh, it was the cover for the oh. connection box. Oh, okay. So, that gives you kind of an Sandy idea. Sandy says, wait a minute, Sandy says, uh -oh. whoop. McKee, how much was it? Six hundred dollars. Yes. And it comes with the uh, the pedestal, the base, and it's kind of heavy. So we were through what 45, 50 mile an hour winds. Yeah, and it did I not I want to see if it would stay there. I want to see if it stay there. We lose signal through the whole storm, the windstorm we had here. I didn't lose no signal. We had no problems. Wait a minute. Okay, Denise says I have a good question. When you're off grid, what? When you're off grid, what is your best backup for obtaining power? We have solar. We have full a gamut of yeah, solar, we got, and we have four batteries. Batterborn. Yeah, we got a and 400 so, amp hours. We're never without power. Oh yeah, we, we have <laughs> I love it. <laughs> power and internet's been the two main things where our goal has been since we have come out here and learned. And now all this stuff is just happening in the last couple of years. Yeah. Because solar was so expensive when we first came out, I would eat, that wouldn't even know my radar. My radar uh -oh. plan was just to get out to get out of here, to get out here. So H, H says, uh, and when satellites go down. Yeah. Now there was there was a day, not for us, but in a different part of the country where the satellites went down for like what thirty seconds or something. Yeah. <laughs> well, they lost. And them. another one gets in its place. Yeah, they reload. Yeah. They lose a the satellite, then they reload. They're gonna have extras in standby mode. Which is totally genius, you know, like the revolve the old revolvers they had, the way they had the cartridges in them, you know, in Clint Eastwood movies. <laughs> yeah. That's kinda like what he's got setting up there. I think it's pretty cool. How about storms with would it fluctuate like dish TV? It, no, Hasn't yet. It, it it was pouring down rain here the other morning. I was watching and windy and I was it was storming. Oh. And I watched uh, no problems. I was sitting there watching the news. Exactly. Not a bit of problem. Uh, what's hold up? I just, uh, somebody said something there. I missed it. I guess it's not. Going okay, to Judy T says, "What about ten inches of snow here today?" Not it, here. Oh, no, we're there. There. Yeah. It would be. It would work fine. You just have to keep the um, the the dish there clear. As long as you keep it clear, you we will can't be put fine. It under, just like any other dish, you can't put it under trees and stuff. Right, you can't put it under you can't put it under your deck. But it comes or out of whatever. You don't have to position it now. It does it all automatically. Oh yeah. You just key in on your phone or your computer, ever how you have it set up. Right. And it does everything automatically. Yep. You just put in your address, it'll show you. It's real simple, about three steps. That's it. And it And it's it takes about fifteen minutes yep. to load up. Yep. And it'll be it'll do its thing, it'll do R two D two. Yep. Uh but it's uh, really, uh, we're really enjoying it. And if this thing, the system's only going to improve, as uh, I would think, as they get more satellites up. Right. So, and then they won't have the ground stations. Yeah, that goes away. Then it's straight laser. And it's going to be even faster. But I'll tell you what, the quality of the picture, even using her AT&T phone sitting right on the tower, 
There's no comparison. The picture quality is way better yes. than anything coming off these towers that we've seen. So I, I think those guys might be in for a little headache. Uh, they might be losing customers. Me being one of them. Somebody said something. You're getting uh, something about your stream. Oh, so it's going to play pinball with emissions. I don't know about all that. Is it unlimited data? Yes. Yes, it's unlimited. Yes. Yeah, ninety-nine dollars a month. Automatic deduction from our checking account. It's awesome. No, n no throttling, nothing. Just you have internet, you know. Yeah. And uh, actually, well, I have, I'm wrapped in aluminum here, but Daryl, my neighbor over here, he's uh, about 60 feet away. He was able to get on my Starlink. We were just running yeah. some tests on it. But I imagine if I put open the window here and pull the shade and aim my, turn my uh, router a little bit, I could probably get people all around me on the internet. Oh, for sure. But that's, for if sure. you want to start doing that, then people will start expecting it, but we're not going to start doing that. So. Uh, well, hey, Don. Don Parsons. Uh, your stream video, video and audio. Is good. The stream getting is 720p. That's pretty good then. We'll take yes. that. Because normally it's like Clark four or Walker. something. Hello, Ramblers. Always a pleasure. Well, thank hello, you, Clark. Hello, hello. Always a pleasure here. Uh, we just have been busy, busy, busy. <laughs> and <laughs> it ain't hey, letting Mary. up none. Summer's about hey, to be Marty. upon us, so we got to get the rig ready for some serious travel. And we're going to be having an adventurous summer this year. Man, it's just things are about to take off. You know when Starlink will have in motion internet for, for RVs. RVs. Now, that I don't know. I know they have some things later in the year they're going to be releasing. But uh, Right now, you, this works great. Right now, I'm happy with this. Boy, I tell you, I, I hope that when I go to some remote places that we love to go to. Yes. Instead of having to drive five miles into town to talk to somebody on the phone. Oh, man. We can actually use our Starlink <laughs> to be engaged. Yeah. That that will be great. It's, it's going to yes. be a game changer, I think. Definitely. I think it will be a, do, a total game changer. Uh, always a pleasure. Yes, it is, sir. Uh, that's, uh, I just don't, that's what Don Parsons yeah. says. Oh, it's Clark Walker, yeah. Martin Emmerich, do you know when your Starlink will have an in motion? That's what we just answered. Right. Okay. I thought this thing moved on me. What is this about propane? <laughs> uh, Kevin, he says he made some changes in his solar. Now he can run a refrigerator for about six hours a day on electric. That's great, Oh, Kevin. that's awesome. That's really good. That's awesome. Of course, he has a high... People don't know, Kevin has a high amperage refrigerator. That's the RV model. It draws a lot of current. Right. Yeah, Sandy McKee, we told you it's unlimited. Yes. They don't throttle nothing. You got internet. Boom. Yeah. And it's way beyond any of these boxes or stuff and you the, get on the phone, as far and as I'm the, concerned. Uh, the only people that are complaining, really, about Starlink are the ones that winter here from Canada because they have their address in Canada, but once they get down here, it doesn't work like that. Well, you can't so, take it across countries. Right. You can't take it across country lines, yeah. Yeah, it won't let you do that. You can take it across yeah. county lines, state yeah. lines. Yeah, But then won't let you cross All over the United Canadian. States. Canadians, just, it's just some kind of thing <laughs> in the trade agreement and whatnot. I, I don't know uh, yeah. all about who made the rules for that. But but supposedly they're working on that, too. So Hannah Paulette says hello. Hey, Wayne. Hannah's there. Hey, Hannah. Hey, Hannah. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's see. I don't know nobody else has said anything yet. Well, somebody did because it popped up. What did you do for your birthday, Miss Sharon? Sharon. Uh, I went to Olive Garden and ate. Yeah, it was <laughs> fabulous. It she got was. everything she wanted. I did. She got, well, they didn't have the stuffed mushrooms. She wanted some stuffed yeah, mushrooms. I did. She didn't have that. But, but I got was. the artichoke, artichoke dip with the chips. Yep. Some calamari. Yep. Salad. And what was your main meal? Uh, shrimp scampi. Yeah. It was awesome. Awesome, awesome. Hey, Marilyn. Uh-oh. She retracted her okay. statement. Okay, here's a good one. Here's a good question. Uh, Don Parsons says, from the time you first filled out their form requesting Starlink, how long was it before you were actually able to get it? See, that's a little trick. <laughs> <laughs> when you just go on there and you put in your address where you're at, it'll pop up and tell you. Uh, well, of course, it may not. It may say it's available. If it, the address you put in is available, that's the key right there. Yep. My, my actual address, so you can understand this, 
that I got my first Starlink. I had it in two weeks. They mailed it out to me. I got it from California. I had it within two weeks, but I used a Montana address. Yeah. And I had it shipped to courtside right. to be picked up. Exactly. Now, you ask me, how would you do that? <laughs> they tell you how to do that if you know where to look on their thing there, well, on their web page. That's the thing. you got to yeah. put in address till it shows up and pops up and tells you it's available. Right. But if but it's not available, they only charge you the $90. $99, uh, yeah. The $99 processing fee to pay the, the balance when you get your unit sent to you. So the key is, uh, where did you find? Where do you find your address? My address, I, I had other friends. They found their address in Oklahoma. You got to go to the Google Google Maps, and it's got those little uh, locator numbers where they had the museums and gas stations and businesses. You just take one of those numbers and say, okay, I'm gonna use this address. Is it there? You plug it in. You might have to try 20 or 30 times different right. places. But I, we got ours out of Montana, a little town in eastern Montana. Exactly. And that was the and hardest was museum. one to find. It was a museum that I used for the address. But they sent me, because I, I wanted to use that address, they sent me the Starlink. Now, am I too far away to use it? Of course. So what we did, once we got our Starlink sent to us, and we were online to use it. And we knew we were coming here. We started looking for address in Yuma, yeah. and we found one. Yeah. So we transferred the address to Yuma where we were coming to. It's that simple. That's it. And that's how we got it. So if that makes any sense to you, that first of all, if you go in there and put it up and it's nothing not available in your area till six months from now or whenever that towards the end of the year, that's what my first order said. Then I talked to some folks that taught me what to look for, how to do it. Right. So that worked out really well. We're so happy with it. We just can't believe how good it's working. It's awesome. When I uploaded that video in 20 minutes, I was like, yes. <laughs> uh, Kevin says he pulled in the peak wattage of 1117. Watts on a 1200 watt system. Kevin, you still got the panels tilted? That's awesome. Yeah, that's really good. Kevin's got it going on with that solar now. H uh -huh. says he's addicted to the internet. We're not addicted to the internet. Uh, Wayne Johnson's on there. Uh oh, hey, Wayne. The reason we want internet, we want to know about the weather. Well, I upload videos. And she uploads videos. That's the main two reasons, really, right there for us. We exactly. want to know the weather and stuff. Because we, we don't care about being around a bunch of big cities all the time. Right. Once in a while, you know, being near the t cities and stuff is cool to get stuff done and get your mail or whatnot. But we we enjoy being out in the country in small yeah. towns and stuff. He says he's got four still tilted. Oh, okay. I didn't tilt any. I got almost 700 today. That's which awesome. Which I thought was pretty good. But I'm fully charged. I was fully charged, you know, there for... I didn't probably need to run the generator for the pot. <laughs> okay. Thank you. For that tip yep our uh, some friends of ours learned from some friends of theirs <laughs> so those we're friends, just passing it around we're trying to pass it around <laughs> and help everybody because the system's going to come online here eventually but wow i'll tell you what i, I that's the best money i spent for internet service oh i'm uh, not oh, being in town because out here you, you still seriously. drive down the road you lose it you don't have it so right you know um uh, but wow, what a difference it makes as far as being Big out here. Time. I got two towers right here. I guarantee you right now, T-Mobile wouldn't be working, and neither would Verizon. Exactly. AT&T works a little bit. It works better than the other two. And see, we haven't buffed or cut out not one no. time. And, and we got on without any technical difficulty. Can you believe and we're that? And we're sitting outside. Yeah, we got on. It's amazing. Got, you know, like we always found, oh, we lost signal. We had to use this box for that. Yeah. We had to cut the phone on. Yeah. hit the wrong button. There's no more of that. This Yay. is just so simple. It's just so simple now. What is, what does it say? Dude, Kobe, so what's on your objective the next month? Staying there or traveling to a different destination? Well, right now we're kind of getting back to what we used to do. Um, we're kind of uh, we're kind of not doing so much group traveling. We're kind of going to do our individual stuff that we were doing before. When y'all would see us, and we might rendezvous, somebody might see us or come up with it. We've had a couple people come up oh, here yeah. since we've been <laughs> camped out here, where we're over here now. Uh, instead of being, staying in the long term areas, the long term areas right across the road from us over here. But we're staying right. kind of staying out of the long term area. That way we're accessible. Yeah. But we've had people come and visit us already, so we're kind of going to get back to that and not so much group travel as we've been doing get back to kind of freestyling like we used to yeah. and uh that's uh to us that's a lot more enjoyable so we enjoy doing that not to say we don't like people don't take right. us the wrong way but or being uh, with other folks either yeah, so it yeah. just gives us a chance to kind of get back to our roots what we were doing before we'll take off and we'll go here we'll take off and we'll go there 
and uh, we're not bothering anybody or creating, uh, changing anybody else's plans. They can make their plans as they see fit. You know, so that's kind of where we're headed, that direction. We're going back to what we used to do when y'all would see us. Uh, in some cases, we'll be by ourselves sometimes quite a bit. So, oh, okay. Uh, nothing wrong with good internet. That's a fact. Yeah, it's just a fact of life. You, you know, life changes. You know, like when the telephone came out, people had them. Everybody oh, yeah. had them. It's the way technology rolls and, you know, uh, that's the way it is. What's that say? Completely Light, solid. Lightning will, I uh, am Rob. Robin. Oh, okay. You two are the king and queen. queen. of no man living. <laughs> Good on you. Well, hey, we, we try, we try to share with y'all what we find out and how we're doing it. Ex uh, yeah. And uh, believe me, we don't do everything perfect neither. We, we, we make our share of mistakes. But you know what? I mean, it is a learning curve to have solar because you've got to figure out when when you're getting the most solar and that's that's when i cook now so i fix beef homemade beef stew today and cornbread but that goes hand in hand and, with uh, our health too right where she's on this diet and what y'all have noticed she has lost some weight we're trying to eat any meals before dark before dark which is actually we're running the six o'clock timeline right so we don't take any eat anything after six o'clock so that's you know that's that's working for us so you got you kind of got to change things in your life to help other things change. So change is good. So it's been good for us. Yes. Okay, okay Don, Don, completely solid. Okay. Hey, Kate. Yeah. I'm what? She's skidding in late. <laughs> <laughs> skidding. Okay. <Yeah. laughs> uh, we asked for the thumbs up. I don't know how many thumbs up we got. 34 yep. looks like. So we'll try to get those thumbs up up there. Uh, but yeah, that's just uh, it's, just, it's just remarkable how one man's uh, idea can spread and create a create an idea and, it, and people start latching onto that idea that he created. He says, hey, I'll put these satellites up and he wants to make sure they don't glare down to the earth so he's positioned them in a way so that they don't reflect down on the earth, the sunlight. <laughs> If you read a lot of the articles, he's, he's trying to work That's with That's the chat box right there. That's what's running behind. What? <laughs> Who was it that said that? Sandy says the chat box is running behind, running slow. It's because he gets off Oops, on other what stuff. What do you do if the tablet is set up with Verizon, etc.? cetera? Um, For what now? Tablet set up. You select, you select your provider. We we get you do we do just like you get we got our Starlink we have a password for it right and, uh, that's what you create it when you create your account well like I have an AT and T phone and I have a hotspot on this phone for AT and T and of course I get free data just over the air you know and that's how your tablet is you're with Verizon well once you have Starlink you'll just have a password for that and you'll get on Starlink and that's how you won't have to use the data from Verizon. Keeps your bill down. Well, it keeps you it keeps your internet available. Yes. Your hotspot available. Definitely. But you're paying to this for this to use it. And um, we understand we, one of our friends in Quartzsite had uh, right at what 35, 40 people on his Starlink. Oh yeah. In a circle they had an area where they kind of where they parked, everybody was sharing his internet. Okay. What does this say right here? Gotta go. Okay, H. Be careful. Okay. okay. And have a good weekend. Yep. Um. Okay. You had two. You had about five minutes of no something. Okay. Gary, somebody. Constant stream. Uh, looking at the map, you you had about five minutes with no stats over you. Otherwise, a constant stream of them. Roll. Arizona is where your ground station is. Yeah, yes. Arizona's our ground station. Yes. But we're over in California and we're using that address over there in Yuma and the ground Ooh. station is up on 95 there somewhere north of Yuma. Oh, hope. That's what Stay somebody, warm. I think, I think me and Daryl were talking about that the other day where the ground station, he thought the ground station was. They have a map for all this. If you go to the different Starlink uh, apps, yes. It's got all this stuff. Now, I'm still learning it, uh, but I'll tell you what, this, this, this is just amazing. This is amazing stuff. 
Yeah. I just think it's the greatest thing since sliced bread. <laughs> and you know the technologies. It just didn't take it. This been here. This these companies didn't want to do it because they want to milk you out of every dime and nickel you got. He set a price. This is the way he's going to do the business. It's great, man. It's great. Uh, that's the nomadic <clears throat> life. Alone a lot? No. We are hardly ever alone. <laughs> Well, I mean, you can be as long as you want. You can go out here and yeah. park on the side of the mountain and be left alone. Nobody, That's right. Nobody's going to mess with you. Um, usually, most of us nomads out here know that when somebody's parked over there by themselves, I wouldn't get within two or 300 yards of them. You know, they kind of like want their privacy and try to let them have that privacy. Okay. Don, it is Wi-Fi. It is Wi-Fi. What you do is um, you log in to starlink.com you go there and um connect and that's it it's after you get your starlink all set up yeah yeah so and so uh we have a printer in there that uses wi-fi well the uh, we never had good enough signal for that printer, printer to keep the passwords for our wi-fi our little wi-fi boxes and yeah, whatnot oh, none of them none of the devices none of them. the printer in there that's a a three hundred dollar printer <laughs> will not hold any of the passwords. But this one it holds. Starlink, it holds it. It keeps it. We shut it off and on. The signal is so good from this uh, router in here that exactly. it, it's, it's, it's just amazing. That's the first time we've owned this printer in what eight months, right. six months, or eight right. months. We've had that printer that I able to open up my computer and print something out. I ain't yeah. got. I ain't got to run back there and put in passwords. Oh, password failed. Signal's not good enough. The Starlink is just unbelievable. That router in there exactly. puts enough signal out. And it's not little. It's a big thing. Well, and before, and before when we had whatever we were hooked to, T-Mobile, Verizon, AT&T, yeah. whatever, we could only run one TV and yep. one person could be on the computer. Now we can or run you, everything. Or you get constant buffing. Yes. Now, and it's because of, to the area we're in, they don't have enough. They've oversold their systems. Okay, they're right. everybody all this stuff, and when you get to hey, go Henry. use it, you can't use it because it's used by everybody else. Right. They don't have enough towers and stuff up. That's the bottom line. <laughs> They've oversold it. And what they're doing now, with our friends that have Verizon, they get Verizon here, but our box won't. Their new phone plan gives them top-tier access. Right. I know this because I used to be a telephone guy in the Navy, and we worked setting up priority systems for who had priority to the phone lines. And that's how they're doing and it's it all with Verizon. Pro, and that's how they do it with these phone companies. Yes. If you get this particular plan, now again, too, once you run out of your internet, they prioritize that, too. Depends on the plan and what you're paying for. Right. They're, they're judge and jury over you for what you're paying. Hey, ES. But I'm so happy for Starling. I hope this thing just how does, you doing? does great. Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, they're saying hello to each other still. Pictures are really clear. Yeah, this is probably the easiest setup we've ever had. Oh, my had gosh. In months out here in the <laughs> desert. Uh, which box is working? Well, it, you know, is it having an attitude today? You know, uh-oh, uh, T-Mobile, it's not doing good. Uh, cut, the other, cut the other one on. Cut the other one off. Exactly. Oh, well, we got it on the phone. Oh, man, I can't get it on the TV. I can't get it on the computer. And now we're buffing. <laughs> no, uh, we're not. Or now you just lost signal. <laughs> it's a, it was a, just a constant crazy battle. It okay. drive you crazy. Denise asked you a question, too. Denise did? Where is she at? Okay, let's see. The picture is really clear. Yes. There um, it is right here. In lieu of, a, of or an addition to your internet provider. Sorry. Yes. Yes. Yes, definitely. Yeah. yeah. And, in, I mean, they haven't figured out the one for the RVs yet. But I tell you what, this works perfectly. We we watch, uh, I don't know if any of y'all watch uh, Grand Adventures. He just he, did a great video. Oh, huh? yeah. He has moved from Texas. All the way across to, the country. Yep. To. Um, now he's in Utah. A, yeah. Arizona and then to Utah. And he has not had any problems at all. And that's yeah. what we plan to do, so too. So he just so. finds an address that he can use in that area. Yeah. And he before in, he moves. Before he moves. So and, it'll be there when he gets there. Yeah. That, that's right. So. so. So when we move further up the road, if we go to Lake Havasu, we'll try to. Uh, yeah, find uh, an address up there, find an address plug it in, in there and plug it in. Yeah. So it could be there may not be any in Havasu, but it might be the little town north of Havasu. 
or it might be the town east or west. It might be over in California. Exactly. So you kind of got to look around on your Google's map and plug it all in and see it and yeah. see where the address, and then it'll lock in on one. And when it locks in on one, this is, this is, you save you. that address. Save yeah. Save that address and use it because it's open. Yeah. Okay. Kevin is asking you about the directional antenna. Directional antenna. Oh, I'll probably get rid of that. I'll probably sell it, Kevin. <sighs> I spent all that money. I spent $1,200 on that stuff. <laughs> trying to have internet then all of a sudden i found out i could get starlink now I went, my head went through the roof <laughs> then i had to cancel my first order because i didn't know how to change the address and stuff so i canceled the first order that locked my account up so then we just opened the account for sharing because then we knew how to get you found out how to get it so we did it under her yeah so, and it works great it oh works yeah it's, great. It's, it's, it's fantastic i just can't i can't believe okay it. let's see um carla and ken what's it say here, I'll make it big again because one of them was a long one and I couldn't read it. Okay, we can get it here in Florida, but not at home. Well, we can, we can wait for home. But where's home? Ken, uh, Carl and Ken, they can get it in Florida, right? Yeah. But they can't get it where their home is at. And that may be the case for somebody. If, yeah, if you can't get it where your address at, then you can't really use it, you know. But they're opening up addresses across the country, so it's just a matter of time. They get more satellites up, more addresses will open up. Does the Starlink have a tri-band router? I have no idea what that means, yeah, but it looks like a tall little thingy here, and it's got the earth in the middle, and it looks like Mars is around it. Yeah. <laughs> All I know is I plugged it in and it works. Well, can, we can show it to you. It's right here. Yeah. We can show you both of them. Don't unplug it. Oh, I'm not unplugging nothing. Uh, maybe I can use my new address. Maybe you can in Deming. Yeah. You'll have internet out there. That's right. Where he's out in the country there in Deming. Yeah. Uh, great information, Bobby. I'm getting some inside information. Yes, here you here's are. The, here's the router. Here. I will turn the phone. There it is. You might get a little closer, honey. You're a little far away there. Can they see it? There's the router. And the router has one light on the bottom of it here with a power. You check that, and you have the cord that goes out to your dish. That's it. That's it. No lights to tell you it's working or whatever. On the bottom. It, it, but on it's awesome. I mean, wow. You don't have to flip through a script. You don't have to flip through a bunch of stuff. Just check this it, or check that. And, exactly. You know, and it's, it's, it's not hard to set up at all. No, no. I mean, we were a little surprised that it took 15 minutes for it to find everything. But you got to think how far it has to go to get the signal and bring it back to you. So, that Carl was and Ken Wise, So, you still have it while stopped, that Cracker Barrel or the way you... Well, when we travel, we're going to put it in a box. It has a travel right. box. Yeah, you store it. It has a storing feature where you have to shut everything down and store it. And then when you get to your next address, if you're going to stay somewhere, because if we're going to if we're going to go from here, say across the country to see our kids, we're not going to bring out the uh, Starlink. We'll we'll just use the Omni that's on top of the roof or just my phone. That's you know that's the best. That would be the best situation for us. Now with the uh, <laughs> here's the box. Yep. Right here. That's uh that's it's, it's got Starlink on, on the front of it. You can see it right there. See there's the, there's the box it comes in. Yep. And the box itself opens up. Of course you got their little the cover that goes covers over. Yeah. And you got this part here. Everything sets in. It's molded. It's a molded piece. That's for your stand in your uh, dish. We've got another section down here in the bottom. And see, this is... That's the picture. <laughs> Look here. There's, These, your, there's your components. That's the directions right there. <laughs> Can you see it? Yeah. It's got your cell phone. <laughs> it's got the router and power supply. And there's your dish. And that's then you, it. Then you got a long cord, which you can get it out of the way from your rig yeah. or put it up on top 25 of your rig. feet? 25, uh, 50? It's a very long... I think that's 50 feet. It's 50 feet. I think it's 50 feet. Yeah. That's it, and you restore everything. It's real simple. 
and uh, you're good. Put it up in the car and you're off and gone. Yep, that's it. Look for your next address. Okay. Okay, what, what, whoa, whoa, whoa. I lost something in here. Oh, okay. Uh, sounds like a great setup. I'm so fed up with unlimited and being throttled. Exactly, exactly. That was, that was us. Yep. You and can, I mean, and people just, would just get mad. Just think about it. You can buy this thing, set it up at your house. Then when you go on vacation to the mountain cabin or wherever you're going, take it with you, set it up. Exactly. And you, you, you got your, you got your internet with you. <laughs> Exactly. Especially when they make more line, more uh, more areas available. Oh gosh, yes. You just take it with you, put it in the car, and go. And you got you're out in a tent, out in Booney Land. Well, let's power up. We got solar. That's we, it. We packed in with our solar. We could power this thing up. I mean, what opportunities? Because wow. I mean, y'all know we go to some fantastic places to boondock, and this is just going to open it up even even better. And when they start doing the um, what do you call it? The lasers, that's going to be even better. Yeah, even faster. better. Because you won't have to worry about an address. That's the key thing. That's yeah. the key. This is a global system. It's going around the globe. They're so, putting this thing all over the world. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Cadillac Jack. Hello, sir. Cadillac Jack says, I better be nice. Well, ask her. <laughs> I'm the nicest guy on the block. <laughs> She ain't got nothing to worry about, dude. <laughs> nothing to worry about at all. Uh, okay. Uh, looks cool. Camera only, oh, 75 feet. Oh, only, okay. Not 50. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I didn't look in here. I didn't see what the footage on the cable hey. was. It's long, though. We're just happy it works. <laughs> it works. And people were getting upset because I had cut back from uploading videos because we were out, out away and didn't have any internet, and it was hard to upload a video and I would upload one one a week. So now I can get back to the way it was before. Yay. Yes, it's, hey, this makes a, it's a, it's a game changer. Game changer. Okay, what does that say? Does it connect? Uh, we're actually on the five. Five what? See, the one, it five does meter. either one. Yeah. And we're on the five. Yeah, we're on the five. It's automatically yeah. selected it for us. Yes. Yeah, it automatically gives you a choice, the regular or five. Right. So you just you just tap five or select five. Yeah. Um Thank you, Sandy. Appreciate that. Randy Knapp. Hi Sharon and Bobby. Awesome that it is working for you. Yeah, I I'm just thinking it's even gonna get better once they get more satellites up and open up well, the laser. And oh yeah. So many things are gonna be coming. It's just only gonna get better. I mean exactly. to me right now, how much better can it get? <laughs> <laughs> Holy mackerel. That's always why I always dreaded doing the show is because, we, you know, the Internet's not great in this part of Arizona for us being out of town. Out so, of, oh my God, if, if you're in town, it's always fairly good. But hell, we were right there in town of Quartzsite, couldn't get no Internet. It was crazy. Yes, 5G. Yep, 5G. 5G. But it's, that's the way it is. We just figured we'd share that with y'all on our show tonight. So, um, and it's, it's all good. Oh, Sharon, a big question. <laughs> What does that say? Is is everyone going their separate ways this summer? I meant to ask you that earlier in the video. Yeah, most of the got, time. Yeah, most everybody's of got the different time. things they want to do, you know. Yeah. And we got some different things we want to do this summer, uh, and so we're gonna go do them. Uh, everybody's got family stuff they want to do. Hey, um, Randy. We got some family stuff we want to do this summer. Yep. So we're getting ready to to invoke on that, and uh, it's just the way it is, you know. <laughs> hey. So some big things coming. Big yeah, things. Big things are coming. Yeah, shoot you, man. I'm waiting on my dish mount one month out, but I tested my Starlink from the ground. I got great speeds. Mm-hmm. My DSL. Yeah. Yep, one 11 MIPS, but my Starlink hit max 200 MIPS so fast. I was blown away. Yes. Oh, man. It's <laughs> when it goes past that 200, you're like, wow. Yeah, there's people that get incredible numbers with the system. Incredible numbers. And I'm like, holy mackerel, how can we not love this thing? 
And, Seriously. And for 99 bucks a month. I mean, I'm paying 65 for the Verizon Unlimited, which is a joke. See, 50 for They should be paying me. They should be yeah, paying me we haven't, to put yeah, up with the crap. We haven't even been able to use that but a couple of times in the Only, last couple months. Oh, they're getting, they're ripping me off totally. Uh, Verizon is just, you know, they're overselling what they're offering. They're tearing. They got these game plans. They're playing. I know what they have to. They just yeah. ripping people off. Well, they're trying to. What they're trying to do is get rid of the people that are grandfather in. Yeah. Just saying. They, they, they went in there. They, they got mine. But I got somebody else in line. So that's yeah. okay. That's what you call yeah. free enterprise. <laughs> I like that kind of stuff. Exactly. Exactly. Well, Cameron says that we are awesome. Well, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, you. Cameron. <laughs> Sounds great. Yeah. Well, like so. I say, we just we just tell you what's happening with us and kind of what our plans are. But like I said before in the video, we're kind of getting back to the way we used to do things uh, instead of traveling so much with a large group because, you know, it's, it's fun to travel in a group, you know, for a period of time, but then getting back to the kind of things we enjoy doing ourselves, it's, it's, it's just so much fun. And then, then nobody has to put their plans based on what we're doing. Exactly. So, exactly. It's a free country. Yep. And sure. we're nomads. That's travel. It. Have fun. Enjoy. Y'all are awesome. Okay, right now it is uh, 65. So. Mobile Tech wants to know what we're using for camera and mic. Uh, just the iPhone. Yeah, just my iPhone 13. But see, we're hooked up to a great internet system here, exactly. guys. Exactly. That's, that's the world of difference right there. <laughs> I'm telling you, this was so easy tonight, I couldn't believe it. I was thinking, well, here we're going to go. We're going to have all, we need to get the mics out. We'll be losing the internet. And, and this, and you know, you know, y'all have seen our shows. Oh, you know yeah. what happens. Yeah. You know, everybody's laughing. Oh, these two Nimrods, look what they're trying to do. Yeah, we're trying to do it now, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. It makes a great difference. It does. A great service provider. Okay, what does it say? Do you know if what? Starlink and travel with it. Starlink, I think is what he means. And travel with it with my other one is at home. Oh, uh, I, I bet. Think, I bet you could have two different accounts. Yeah, for sure. I, I don't see why they would limit a person. Yeah. It's the money-making they, outfit that's here. That's right. That's it's called right. capitalism. <laughs> let's make some money. Let's offer a product. See if it sells. If it does, let's move it. That's it. And you want cat you want competition in capitalism. That's the win 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 in both worlds. Yes, Kate. You would just sign on your desktop computer. That's what I do. I, I don't wherever have a phone. you put your, wherever you have your um internet, you know, the names of them all come up. You just pick the one that you named your Starlink and boom, you're there. That's all there is to it. <laughs> it works great. So easy too. Oh, Denise says it's 75 there in in yeah. uh, Florida. Okay, she wants to know what it costs again. Uh, it, the, 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 the equipment itself, and this is a home unit. This isn't for an RV. Right. But you can use the home unit because send, they send you a box with it so you can restore it while you're traveling. So it's $600, $599. Right. That's what it was. Yeah. It's $600, and it was $550 something with tax and everything. Yeah. came out to about $600. And it costs us $99 a month. And we have it set up on automatic withdrawal. Okay, what does that say right there? Sharon Johnson. Uh, she likes to see us traveling with other people and everything. Well, that's yeah, we do. Yes, it would be great to do some fun things with family and friends. Well, yeah, yeah. Um, but usually if you, you're traveling, you start getting uh, four, five, six, eight people traveling. In the you got to make a lot of plans. <laughs> yeah. Ahead it's some... of where you're going to stay and right. what, uh, what people's needs are. I mean... I mean, when you go to places, there's some places we've been where we, we reviewed it and we did our homework. There was supposed to be internet there. Hell, we get there, there's no internet. Right. You know, I'm, I'm as disappointed as everybody else. But you can't help these things out here because there's places I've never been. So now I'm hoping when I go to places, I'll have my Starlink. Yes. And we'll have internet. Uh, Cadillac, we are. Uh, thank you. Yes, the picture is fantastic tonight. Thank goodness. Uh, but we are in Yuma, Arizona. A place called Felicity, which is right. on the California side, a population of two. Exactly, of course. It's where I live, and it's been a nightmare with the net. Yeah, and and we have some friends there that actually use the fast net there in town, and they say they've had trouble with that too. Oh, of course. So yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure it reaches three miles well, out of town. And, and the thing is, a lot of people in Quartzsite have Starlink. 
So it may be hard for you to get underdressed there, even though it's your dress right. at your house. Right. So because even though you have a dress, you're resident there, it doesn't mean you're going to get right on Starling. It, exactly. Because there's only a limited amount available. But as this thing, if they put more satellites up and the honeycomb opens up more with more signal, they'll be able to have more addresses. Quartzite eventually would probably have, say, right now it's only got 100. It may go to 500. It may go to 1,000. Right. Because more satellites are up, often more more dresses. Ooh, lightning, you are cold, aren't you? Ooh. Mm. Yikes. Well, I am right. Okay, 10 degrees Fahrenheit. That was nice. Damn. Ooh, man. Okay. RC, You're... we will let you know. Does your <laughs> plans have you coming back through Alabama? <laughs> we uh, will let you know. <laughs> Uh, yes, uh, RC, yes, they do. Our plans do have us coming through Alabama. Eventually. Yep. And, uh... <laughs> mm, Granddaughter this summer. Cameron Lee, I'm dark here. It's cool. Okay, I see it. I live in Georgia. Cameron Lee, oh, it's, got, it's dark in Georgia now. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we, okay. got, we got kids in Georgia. Yeah. Grandbabies. Wow, that is great. Glad it was. Hello, so Colleen. Sandy McKee. Oh my God, yes, I agree with you. Should be reimbursed for all the time without the, <laughs> the internet. Pay. Exactly. Yeah, they, they should reverse charges. Oh, they're not using internet. Is it because they don't want to use it, or they don't have no signal where they're at? <laughs> That's well, right. They know. They know if you're getting a signal or not. Let exactly. me tell you. Exactly. They ain't no bunch of fools. They think we're the fools out here. Okay. What's Don say? Uh. No, I'm, partial, I'm impressed if you are only using the built-in iPhone mic. The audio for both are pretty good. Well, thank you, Don. Yep. Yeah, I, that's... Well, he, he was like, oh, my gosh, we need to use the mics because we have mics that we can put on here and a receiver for the phone. Yep. And uh, I said, I think, the, I think the iPhone will be fine because we're kind of sitting where the wind is actually not... <laughs> Hitting it's us here. Coming out of the north, yeah. northwest. So it's hitting kind of the back corner side over there of the yeah. trailer. It is coming around the trailer, though, and underneath. Man, it's all but, good. We're, we're making it okay. It's doing really good tonight, better than what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were going to have all kinds of problems. <laughs> no, this thing's going to dive. Uh, we're going to fall uh, off the chair. But we want to uh, emphasize Starlink is what we're using. We're right. very happy with the, the progress that they've made with offering us this at this reasonable price. Because I can get rid of two boxes and save about... Fifteen twenty dollars, so I can get rid of yeah. the T-Mobile box I'm paying for and the Verizon box I'm paying for, and I'll get money back. Exactly. And golly, I have internet. Right. We're gonna keep the internet for her phone. Yeah. So that we'll, if we're in town, so you can't, you don't want to get this thing out there where you stop. Exactly. So when you're traveling, if it's available, if internet's available, well, you ain't gonna be there long. Uh, usually by the interstate systems, the highways, there's internet. Yeah. There, you know, out in the country, sometimes you hit places where it's a dead zone. You just have them. I'm not going to camp there right. unless it's just a beautiful place. Then I will camp there yeah. without internet. But, you know, uh, we don't have to have it constantly, but it's good to have it through the week to stay in touch. Exactly. Exactly. But I, like I say, our biggest Well, priority, we have our Omni on our roof. Yeah, we can use the Omni, and, and I still have the directional put up if I want to do that. Right. So eventually I'll get rid of probably all of that stuff. Yeah. So, so you just cut the phone on, and I can flip the Omni on. And we just and got that directional. I just got the directional. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, we got the Omni a month before that. What I like about that. the directional is the pole goes oh, way up. Wow. That pole is long, and they have a fixture for that. Yeah. That I could put on the flagpole. Right. That pedestal. I like that. So I'm gonna order that. <laughs> if it works on my flagpole, then I could just get rid of the rest of the directional. But that directional, I do believe, compared to the two, the Omni over the directional. Oh, the, the directional, directional works definitely. Because we definitely. went from like one bar on the horizon, you pointed at the at where at the, the, the signal's coming from. Right. And it'll it'll latch on and pull it up. Unless there's out of signal for unless you're at priority tiered. But that's the thing. If you're not priority tiered, regardless of how much signal's there, if other people have priority to over you, they're gonna get it before you do. Yes. And the people who are on the grandfathered in boxes and stuff, I think they dropped us way down the tier. Yeah, yeah. They're taking our money, but they've dropped us on the tier plan. They ain't gonna tell you that, but I'm telling you, I've been under this difference in the last six months with the boxes. I'm not getting near the signal that I was getting before. Wayne Johnson says, independence is the only way. Yes, sir, definitely. Yeah, yeah it is. <laughs> okay, uh, let me see, thanks. 
Yeah. And the thing about Car uh, Starlink is being honest with you up All right, front. Denise. See ya. They, they are. Oh, so long, Denise. Uh, they're being honest with you up front. That's telling you the service is not may not be available in your area for the, for the rest of the year. You can buy it, and you're only going to pay the $99 fee to receive to have it. Then they'll they'll bill you the rest when they uh, as you get the signal, as right? You get on the thing, right? So that's it's on order. They charge you ninety nine fee to put it on order. So and when you get it and they have it there, they'll send it to you. But you can do like us, you can, go to a totally different state, pull up an address, okay, that's your address, and have it sent to wherever you are. Yep, that's exactly what we did. That's how you get it in less than two uh, weeks. Baker, Montana is the place we use. <laughs> Baker, Montana. Never been there. <laughs> they have a nice little town there. I used the museum address. It offered me that address. I took it. I said, okay, I'll take this address. Okay, you can. It says, here's your final bill for Starlink. It came out to right at $598 yep. or something. I said, well, where you want? Then they ask you, where you want your Starlink box shipped to? I said, well, ship it to me here in Courtside, Arizona. And that's what they did. Just that simple. That's it. It's great. Okay, Sharon says can't wait for you to use this new unit various places and get the next review uh we're going to shay's ways I mean, oh yeah shay's ways. is this oh okay cool yeah that's sharon's baby oh okay baby. shay's ways oh yeah. okay that's cool yeah, yeah. i can say uh, we just wanted to to let y'all know and and you notice uh the show tonight here it is uh 40 40 minutes 45 minutes later 50 minutes later no buffing, no, no nothing. static, no Yay! drop. And the picture's still good. And this That's is awesome. what goes on in our rig now. Yeah. I get up in the mornings. <laughs> I don't have to sit and wait. Well, internet came in, but it went away. Oh, internet came in, but it shut off. Internet came in, but I don't have no internet. <laughs> it says no data available. I mean, with this thing, it's just unbelievable. I, it's been so much easier to use. Yeah, exactly. And that, that was us. See what Cameron says? That mm -hmm. it said mid- 2023 yeah yeah mm -hmm. and uh it that's what it will say but if you find you an address but the, even but, but see that what they need to understand is if they don't have an address at their home right why you gotta, and then if you're going to travel like right. an rver where there's going to be possible addresses where you go that's kind of ideal but if yeah. you're sitting at home and it tells you it's not opened up yet in your area you can go ahead and pay the 99 dollars and get on the list but it might be 2023 before you get it then uh, they'll let you know. Uh, yes, you have to set a password for your uh, your internet mm -hmm. for the Starlink. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, just like it the, is, when you log on with yeah, the box secure. Your phone, secure phone with anything. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Uh, Dawn, for Starlink service, I <laughs> assume you have to stay away from most high-density population areas. It, I, I don't, I don't know. know. Uh, because our address is in Yuma, and that's a pretty big place. <laughs> yeah. So, that's pretty big. Um, well, like I say, uh, we'll let you know how it goes, but uh, when it's working, it's dead on. Y'all see the results right here. Um, uh, let's see, Kate, uh, this is a great, no buffering. Yeah. You look great. Well, thank you, Kate. <laughs> uh, chasing Tail RV, how much power does it pull? Uh, between 90 and 95 watts. Right. I just leave it plugged in because I got the battery, battery pack to handle it. Right. Uh, hasn't really affected the batteries that much because I'm getting today. I got almost 800 watts of solar on average. Uh, I'm sure I'm up uh, almost. Uh, I'm probably up to about three something kilowatt yeah. hours. And Cadillac three, Jack, three kilowatt. He can put a ton of them up now, all at one time, yeah. not just 60. Yeah, he can put <laughs> way many more up in the, in the bigger rockets they're putting up. Yeah. Uh oh, what does that say? Some days here. Uh, I think they're going to be going up to about 3,000 satellites up there. Woo! But they're putting them up all around the world. There's going to be hun probably hundreds of thousands of them up there. They're in low orbit. Okay. Cameron says something there. A secret I found out is that oh, there's it's a local. Kim and Darryl. Ups. Where they have about, uh, let's see. Wrongly, a secret I found is you use a local UPS or FedEx store address and get it instant as long as they let you use their address and activate it there. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's what we've heard that too. Uh, but uh, I, I haven't done that, so I don't know. I guess you could try that if you live yeah. if you live in a city where there's a FedEx building and yeah, they have it there sure. you can access it but they're it's probably going to be limited to how many people are going to be able to get on it right I well think that it, address uh, exactly in court site and and we've heard that this happens most of the time in court site there at the hardy's they have uh, the electric car hookups well starlink is there and a lot of people will go there to get on the phone or the internet yeah because <laughs> everything else is clogged up yeah, yeah. your verizon uh, Verizon is probably the worst one there. Everybody says, I ain't got no internet here. Uh, it's That's... probably because you're not paying enough or you're not on their, their higher tier system right. to, over, to overreach everybody. What does uh, Robin say there? Lightning Will, I'm Robin. And it helps that you have Navy phone experience to help you figure it out. It's the first time that we've watched you that there hasn't been any... Buffing. IOA. Buffing. Yeah. Buffering. Oh, Buffering. IOTA. Oh, okay. Buffering. Yeah. Buffering. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> we're always so used to having those problems when we try to broadcast to y'all, especially being out here in the South. And it's gotten worse over the years. I remember when we first came out, we didn't have hardly any problems. We were still new doing the YouTube stuff. Right. And we and only did a live once a month once or Once a live every so often, <laughs> you know. But, uh, but it wasn't that bad. We got on just like we do right now. But anymore, forget using them other instruments. Yeah. This is a total waste of money. I'm, yeah. I'm so happy I'm going to save money having Starlink. Seriously. And no more no more troubles getting on. Mm -mm. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. That is like a comedy show every week. <laughs> uh. Yeah. They just announced Starlink is increasing their dishes. Yeah, yep. they're, they're going to be doing it. Yep. What direction so. does... Howard says, what direction does it need to face? Well... It picks its own. It picks its own satellite where it's at. Right. Yeah. You plug it in, and it'll it'll go flat, it'll, and then it'll start turning around until it finds that satellite that it needs. The signal that it needs. Yeah. Yeah. It's self-directing, self-setup. Well, what it does is it looks it looks for uh, objects. Yeah, obstructions. It looks for obstructions first to make sure the area is clear, and it'll tell you obstructions are in the way. It's That's take, why it takes fifteen minutes for it. It'll to say set twelve up. hours. Right, but, but, but it, it takes doesn't. about fifteen minutes. Yeah. Now, if you're sitting there where there's trees and stuff, you may have to get it. If it's, it's trying to line up on a satellite and there's trees, trees topping in the out, way. you may have to put it further out. Or right. if you have it on your rig, move it somewhere. Yeah. But it's like any dish. You've got to have clear sight of the satellites. Right. And right now, it's pointing to the north. Yes. That's it. It's angled towards the north. Okay. Right okay. Cameron. Okay. The results on it. Uh, okay. Howard, what direction does the antenna... Well, It'll find, like I say, Howard, it'll find its own way. Uh, What's that say about the activate? What's this? True, it's far true. away from me. <laughs> they change $8 to hold it If you uh, for you. Then if you can activate it there, I would recommend using a portable power station too. Yeah, okay. Uh, hey, Don and Scotty. Oh, Don and Scotty <laughs> on there. Okay, Don Parsons. Supercharged stations. Oh, that's what he's talking about. Uh, yeah. The um, Starlink connection. Right, at, right. Uh, at right. their stations. Do well, most Tesla supercharged stations have Starlink internet? I'm I've not heard, sure. I've heard they do. Yeah. But I don't know that for sure. We know the one in Quartzite does. Yeah. Okay, send me see. Lincoln says it was not available at the time. One week later, it was available, and we, we have Starlink. Yes. It's changing daily, that's, that's for sure. It is, it is. Well, technology changes constantly. So, yeah. They put that new hard drive in Bobby's computer and now he is like zipping on there. Yeah, man. He thinks he's Mr. Techie. <laughs> I'm gonna learn a little bit, I ain't getting... Oh, and the other thing I wanna tell y'all is I went down to Alagadonis and I had some dental work done. Oh my gosh, fantastic. So I had my teeth clean. And look, I got, I got look. I had this pop in the, in the middle of head. <laughs> You see that? <laughs> I got that fit. He fixed that for free because I bought two uh, crowns. Two crowns, and what's that? What's that called? That metal they used? Uh, zirconium. Zirconium and mulconium. <laughs> it's white. I got to hire ones. What a great job! These things are just great. Uh, it, yeah, he thought like he my, was going to have to go back because it kept was, hurting. The one was giving me problems, and he said it might because it was a low tooth on the top to the nerve. 
But if I need to go back and get a root canal done, I'll do it. But I think it's calming down. It'll be all right. Uh, but I'm, I'm very happy with the dental work. I'm very happy. And she's happy with her glasses. I am. I love them. So what a bargain. I got these two crowns. I'm not even going to tell y'all the price. <laughs> you tell them. I'm not telling them. <laughs> they don't need to know. It was a fantastic They don't know. Price, I saved thousands of dollars. Yeah, I said thousands, thousands of dollars, dollars, not hundreds. <laughs> Let me tell you, compared to what uh -oh. they were going to charge me back Look home. Look what Ken says. He's not happy with your Starlink. He misses all the buffering. <laughs> Shirley messes with <laughs> Shirley messes with buttons. Friday night fights. <laughs> Panda bear, hello, darling. Okay. Uh, oh, we do not. Who's Panda bear? I don't know who that is. Somebody know. new. Hello. hello, how are hello, you? Hello, Panda bear. Okay. Welcome. Uh, hello there, you two. Okay, RV quilts on there. Hey. Colleen, there's Carlin. Carlin Kim Weiss. Laugh out loud. I know you really. Okay. I'm Cindy surprised McKee. your cousin's not on here. Tony, uh, he's he's learning tech too. Well, good for. Okay, it's like a robot and the Jetsons. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. It's automatic, y'all. I, I mean, seriously, it is. You know, in the States, I had this fixed twice up in the front. A thousand dollars worth of repair. Yeah. My doctor in Mexico says, I'll just fix it for free today. <laughs> Yay! How nice can you be? <laughs> How nice can a doctor be? It's amazing. I was blown away. Yes. Ain't no I, doctor I in the States going to say, I'll fix that for free for you. I was so excited when he came out there and he goes, eh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh. <laughs> okay. okay, Sharon Johnson Art, I think she's going. Okay, Sharon. All right. Take care of yourself. Have a safe weekend. Yes. Enjoy. Thomas, hello. Yeah. Brush your teeth. We Why do. Why are you buffered? We buffered. Now, now what? You're, now you're, that's on his end. Oh. <laughs> now, now you're back. Uh, so, uh, so y'all see the experience? We did our live tonight. Fantastic. I think, uh, look at that sunset. Wow. That sunset. Oh, it's going down over there. Uh huh. There's no clouds though. Oh, look no. how purple it is back on that side. Yep. That's beautiful. Yep. I don't think see that in the picture. Man, it's absolutely beautiful. The wind died down. We had a little breeze today, about eight miles an hour. Cool here last night, but I like cool. I sleep good. Okay, free, what free? What is that? You lucky dog, you. Yes, he is. So I've got, I'll be honest with you, I got about $3,000 worth of work done on my teeth for the, the decent price of less than a thousand bucks. And I got 700, right? I got fish tacos too. <laughs> and, wonder. and I got my teeth cleaned too. Yeah. <laughs> so both of us best experience I've ever with, had with everything seven hundred dollars. Yes, you can't beat it, folks. That paid for my fuel to drive from the east coast out here. Oh look, so Cameron says we did buff them about three seconds. <sighs> <laughs> I'll take that. Oh, thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. Oh, no, you did buff about three seconds. Cameron said three. Okay, so we had a little buffing, but hey, you know what? I can live with that out here in the middle of nowhere <laughs> uh, badge is on there he says hello hey badge thanks again for the marshmallows okay. yep we appreciate them and we're gonna be using them how far from the router can you go uh, i think we can probably go with it being in the aluminum trailer maybe yeah. the fiberglass be different i think we can go as far as daryl's rig because daryl was yeah, still about getting 50, uh, 50, about 50 or 60 feet yeah with no yeah. problem and it might start to deteriorate, might, but sitting in the aluminum rig, it's, it's different. I think it's going to be different when you, if you were to put it outside and let it beam into the rig, it might go a lot further out. Here. Oh my gosh, look what Kate says. Mm -hmm. Ooh, $2,500. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -mm. Nope. Uh, Even with my insurance, it was going to cost me uh, twelve, fourteen hundred dollars $1,400 for, for, one one. One for one of these crowns. For one. For just one. And then what, two hundred and fifty dollars for cleaning? How much do we pay for cleanings back home? That's what it is, isn't it? Oh, every bit of that. Yeah, it cost and me, that's with our insurance. That's with the insurance. It's a hundred. Insurance is two hundred dollars a person basically for a cleaning. But the insurance only paid, yeah, uh, not quite half of that. It's uh, always good. Hannah says she's got to go. Take. We'll see you now. Hey, Hannah, we'll see you when we get All to right. Alabama. Yeah. <laughs> take care of yourself, girl. 
Tell your folks we said hello. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yes, I thought mm -hmm. it did buffer, but wasn't sure. <laughs> Didn't last. Yeah. Woohoo! Huh. Sunday's here. Hello, Badge. Okay. Wow. That's been good. I hope it's been a good show for everybody. I hope so, too. Yeah. Been, been hope y'all learned a little bit. If you need, yeah. hey, just text us. We'll give you some information. Well, just stay okay. in touch. Okay. So, how long are you guys going to be in, in Arizona? Not quite sure. We've got so some things in the works. Shout out to uh, Henry. You're not on here tonight? Henry is on here. Oh, I he talked is? To him. I okay. said hello earlier. Henry and them came over and camped with us. We thoroughly enjoyed that. Yep. And uh, got to meet those guys. They're from Illinois. And we met yeah. Ed and, and Mel Indiana, and they came out here to see us. So uh, we're meeting folks, and it's really nice to meet y'all. And uh, if you ever yes. see our camp, come on over. That's right. We you know, we stand out. We, yeah, we stand out. <laughs> stand out of the crowd. <laughs> but uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, we're, we're having a really good time. And uh, things are just, hey, when things are going Smooth good, it out. That's don't, it. don't mess with them. That's right? right. That's right. If it's working, don't touch it. Mm. <laughs> 75 foot cord, I meant. Yes, 75 foot. Yeah, Cameron. Yeah, I said, I was say it's 75. I wasn't sure. I got it rolled up around the back side over there. So probably 40, 50 feet out there than the other 25 or so is around the back. All right, Dawn. Enjoy that spaghetti. Hannah says she can't wait to see us. <laughs> Have a great night. Okay. That's it. What does Mr. Mobile Tech say? Radio waves do strange things. Ionosphere is moving around and settling in that affected radio waves and go through it. Yeah, there's a lot going on there in Mobile Tech. A lot more than I know about. Yeah. All I need to know is I don't have no buffering. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and I can get on. <laughs> and it says, uh, yeah, it says, I love the way that you travel. Uh, you'll make it. What? It's easy and free and so relaxing and so oh, stress-free. Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. That's the only way to travel. Now it's really stress-free. <laughs> yeah. That, that, that internet stuff is just driving us nuts because we, we never had uh, signal hardly uh, decent at all. Yeah. You're paying all that money. You pay all that money. Like, what, what am I doing this stuff for? And and for the Starlink, for the amount that we pay for the Starlink, we can get rid of that other stuff. Oh, yeah. And save money. And save money. <laughs> So, I'm in heaven. <laughs> Improving here, too. Good deal. Uh, Big turquoise trailer, hard to miss in the desert. That's sure right, enough. Cadillac Jack. <laughs> sure enough. Hey, it's what the little lady wanted. Hey. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay. All well, right. I think our, our hour's up. We've yes. been here longer. Wow. Unbelievable. They sure do make it seem easy, but they are so nice to share it with us. Yeah. Well, well we, we it, it be... was easy. Yeah. I'm telling you, I swear, it was easy. I mean, we were surprised that it took 15 minutes because, you know, everybody well, wants we something were, instant. We were... And somebody was getting a little upset. Well, no, I just didn't know, I didn't know how it worked. I didn't know. <laughs> that I it didn't... took 15 minutes. <laughs> and it said 12. She told me, so it's going to take 12 hours. That's, That's what it did. That's an awful long time. It popped up there and said it was going to take 12 hours. I was like, so you there's can't no to way. You can't listen there's to no that. Way. That's... That's what they put in there to tell you if there's interference and all. Right. It could take 12 hours to find the signal. Right. But uh, it didn't take no 12 hours. 15 minutes, that thing popped up and boom, we had internet. That's right. Some days here says it throttles you to 480p. And this is at uh, 720. Yeah, 720. Yeah. Yeah, and our pictures are so, so oh, clear. Oh, my gosh. It's, it's and awesome. And it's going to only get better, they said. <laughs> We're at the bottom of the ringer here. Yeah, that's right. Man, I can't wait to get to the top. Cameron Man. says it's time for some good, good fire barbecue sandwiches. There you go. Billy's hungry. There you go, Cameron Lee. We're with you all the way there, man. Well, you know. I made homemade beef stew and uh, cornbread. Yeah, And man. we're going to have us some uh, banana pudding here in a minute. Yeah, as soon as we get, as soon as y'all are Around the all, campfire. As soon as y'all are all gone, <laughs> we don't want to eat in front of you. <laughs> I gotta use my new choppers. <laughs> His Mexican choppers. That's all right. They're working, buddy. I'd rather buy something from Mexico than I would China. Oh gosh, me too. Okay, let me see. Both of all them right. are very good people. Tom and Bonnie. Thank you. Thank you. 
Y'all have a blessed week also. $500 was worrying Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, I spent all this money on the internet, and I'm still, with this thing, this... I mean, no every comparison. time it turned, uh, I turned around, he was spending like $600 to try to get our internet to work. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Yeah. So, anyway, it's all working. Checking to do Starlink. <laughs> Thanks for the information. Okay, Colleen Wilkin, you're, you're more than welcome. We'll just try to help folks thumbs out. Thumbs up, folks. Thumbs up. Maybe, hey, we maybe, got 57 thumbs up. Maybe Bobby can, can speak Spanish now. Yeah, I've, I've <laughs> often thought about that. When I was overseas, I did speak some Spanish, and I also spoke some Italian. So this old southern boy can get it done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you just never know. All I know is Polly Vu Francais. <laughs> Polly Vu Francais. Does that mean it's time to go? No. That oh. means, can you speak French? Oh, can you speak French? <laughs> Do you speak French? Senor okay. Randy. Hello, como. <laughs> Daryl speaking to him over there. Hello, uh, como esta, Randy. <laughs> hola. Hola. I know that. Que, 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 que. Those kind of little words. I know some of them. Oh, we're going to have to do some stick biscuits one night. We definitely are. And put those marshal, yum, maple yum, yum. marshmallows in there. Yeah, mm -hmm. man. That's going to be like Woo. seventh heaven. We'll have to video that for our Canadian friends. That's right. <laughs> Yeah, but anyway, so we're gonna we're gonna roll mm -hmm. out of here, y'all. I like that one. Need some Mexican food, China food. Not so good, aha. Uh -huh. Good loving tonight. Yeah. Uh, hey, I've had some outstanding Mexican food and some Chinese food. Oh, it's really man. good. Ah, man. Those looking. fish tacos across the border here. Ooh, they're, they're good. 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 Yep. Yeah. Okay. Only Spanish I know. Taco Dorito. <laughs> 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 hey, RC, when right. we come and visit you, we'll go to the Spanish place. <laughs> All right, y'all. We will see you next Friday with no buffing, I hope. In another location, maybe. Who knows? Maybe. Who knows? Yeah. All right. Just take it as it goes. It'll That's be a surprise it. for everybody. That's right. <laughs> you don't never know. All right. Have All a right. good weekend. Okay. And don't work too hard. Bye.